In this video, we want to step through the screens to install the Epilog software suite. So to do that, I'm going to open up my browser. And then I'm going to go to the Epilog Laser website, www.epiloglaser.com. At epiloglaser.com, we're going to slide over to the support and service. And then we're going to go down to driver firmware downloads, slide over to the Fusion Maker Edge Pro Galvo lasers downloads. We can take a moment to sign up for any notifications for future downloads that become available. But for now, we'll scroll down. And we're looking at the Epilog software suite. This is the latest version. So we can click to download that either here or up here. I just am in the habit of choosing this one down here, but also those that are interested can take note of the requirements for Windows on the computer. So we'll say download. And I'm just going to let that put that in the downloads folder. That's the Epilog software suite. And it looks like I've already downloaded that in the past. That's why that one parentheses is there. But just for the process sake, we'll just choose save and save it. So now that is already finished downloading the software suite. And I'm going to click on this folder icon and see if that opens that up to the folder. And it does. So in our downloads folder, I've got highlighted the software suite. At this point, with it highlighted, we're going to choose Extract All. And what that does is it allows us to extract all those files to a folder that we can use. So that won't be the zipped file, but it'll be a folder. So we're going to extract that out to that folder. Once all of those files have been extracted, we see the new folder at the top. There's the name of the uh, folder that those are in. And my installation file has got the logo, the exe file, along with the Go script here. So to install a new version of the Epilog software suite, we're going to double click on this executable folder here. So once we double click on that to open that up, that's going to begin the installation process. Most of the next few dialog windows that appear will just be a acceptance of a user's license agreement or folders, so forth. I just usually accept all the defaults. So software suite, say next. Default installation, say next. Accept the licenses, next. Ready to install. Windows Security User Account Control kicks on. We're going to tell it to say yes. Now automatically the software prompts us to choose next to install the ghost script package that's required. So we say next. Accept the license. And next. Completing. There it is finished. It has completed the installation of the Epilogue Software Suite Wizard. It's going to ask us if we want to run that software suite now. I'm going to tell it no. Wouldn't hurt it if it ran it anyway, but I'm just in the habit of making sure I click finished, closing all the windows, and then proceed from there. So I'm going to close down this window. And then close down my Explorer Downloads window. I'm back at the website. And I'm going to go ahead and close that down as well. So on our computer, we now have the Epilog software suite installed. We can place the Epilog suite icon wherever we'd like to put it. But it did go ahead and put that in our Windows uh, applications list. So we'll go to our all apps and we can scroll down and see that the Epilog Laser folder is there. 
along with the dashboard and job manager, which is part of the suite. So that is how you install from a download the Epilogue job manager or the Epilogue software suite.